Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2, specifically for the Winter's Gifts update. I figured I'd check it out a little bit at the behest, at the request, at the suggestion of one of my generous uh, patrons, No Name Gamer, who specifically requested this one. Uh, because I haven't played in a while, it's got a lot of updates, and honestly, because I should be playing more of it. It's such a good game, and I've mostly been waiting on... Ooh, do I want that? Now let's give myself some HP, I think. Uh, I don't remember which character I'd pick, but whatever, we'll just go with it. It's been a little bit since I've played this game. Uh, it's one of those that I'm I'm trying to hold off a little bit on uh, certain games that I want to play more of because they're in early access, and uh, as much as I love playing them, it's also kind of one of those where I want to wait until it's actually done done before I can really put in a lot of time. Ish. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so... That's how I do it. I just got to remind myself of the controls just a little bit. Aw, oh, cookies. I like that everything is Christmas themed. That's actually really neat. Okay, so I think I'm reasonably strong here. There we go. Looks like we get a little bit of HP back just by doing whatever. Oh, they've got snow snowflake masks. Neat. That, okay, that was sick, but out, also ouch. Also rude. There we go. Uh, do I go back for that other stuff? Eh. I'm just kind of on a on a journey. Cause I like the money and want to unlock as much as I can, but I also know that I don't know. It's it's one of those where There we go. Get some milk. Oh. There we go. I should be able to just bounce off of this person. Oh, we don't have the scaling damage on down attack. Or is that a Rogue Legacy 1 ability? I don't... I don't actually remember. Oh well, it's fine. Yeah, I should I should be keeping more of an eye out on a number of these games for updates. Prior, I'd been... So, I mean... I don't... I don't know. Talking shop while I'm doing these videos maybe isn't always the... The most kosher thing. There we go. I almost didn't get that one. Because, yeah, I don't have my double jump rune on at the moment. And I probably should. Ow. There we go. Yeah, let's just be patient, I guess. Um, ooh. We don't know what either of these do. Raven's Ring or the Shield. Let's go for Achilles... Achilles' Shield. Well above 50% health, deal more spell and weapon damage. Neat. Okay, so this is going to bring me to the bad place. We probably don't want to be here, but I'm going to break a couple of things in the meantime anyway. Oh, right, but we did actually get the meta progression, or not the meta progression, the, um... We got the ability to go up these if I feel like it. It requires Aether's wings. Here's the thing, though. I'm not super comfortable about doing it yet. One, haven't played in a while. Two, it's one of the harder places in the game. I think I want to go to the ice area instead, because that area I haven't cleared out yet. And I'd rather head that direction first and foremost. Ah. <sighs> but yeah, for the longest time for like Twitch and YouTube and whatnot, um I've been very focused on complete series for games. It's always been kind of one of my my like main focus. You know, play a game to the end and then move on. Um I think nowadays I kind of want to switch away from that a little bit just because there are too many games and there's a lot of early access games and it's kind of oof. it's a little rough sometimes uh, you know having a really cool game that I want to play more of but I I feel like either I'm going to play like part of a not good game I wonder if I could have actually levitated up that There we go. I'm just gonna hang here. I almost never actually get to the top of this because I'm usually not patient enough to do so. Now does the... no. The flame swing does not actually come down uh, with the boxes. That's probably for the best. I kind of hope they actually give you the option... Ow.
There we go. Took a little bit. Gain some armor back, looks like. Maybe. And we get whatever this is. But also just, I don't know, it's kind of hard to commentate over long series nowadays. So I've been kind of moving away from that mentally. Which means, I actually, I don't know. I just want to feel like I'm playing games. I can't attack up. Certain characters can, not this character. Not, I don't mind the duelists so far. I'm liking them. I love that part of Rogue Legacy 2, specifically. That they really went off, off the walls as far as creating uh, classes. Might as well just blast them. I got the fireball for a reason. It's a little costly, but what else am I using my mana on? There we go. There we go. Just gotta be careful. And we're good. Destroy all targets, lose no health. Okay. How many do I even have? Um. Are there more over here? Oops. Yep. Nope. And it's melted. It's fine. How the heck did that not hit me? I'm actually kind of confused by this, ow. It's fine. I'll get my HP back. I, mean, I, I get it back more or less two HP at a time per kill. Plus, I mean, there's a decent amount of healing items here. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Weird battle room. I might want to try and get my HP back first. I say as I take more damage. <laughs> I'm just going to be here if you don't mind is my Y ability. Whoa! Now I know. Okay, so I don't quite have an up attack. But I do have... something. Okay. I like it. I like the idea of it anyway. Um... It's worth it. There we go. Still taking a lot of damage, though. And I'm actively kind of trying to take less. Have I read this one? Yeah, I've read this one. Well, let's just clear the castle if I can. Okay, we get a dagger there. Hmm. I'm going to just say no to that. That seems like an easy place for me to take a boatload. Hang here for a second. There we go. Don't get burned. Yeah, I, I want to check out that battle room. I, before we go too far, let's go back. Yeah, I was hoping to heal some more, but I, I think at this point we just need to go see what it is. I guess I'll check what's up here first. does this does have goodies okay ivy seed or ivy roots let's go for the seed see what happens could an ivy can be every time you do an aerial recovery interesting I'm not 100% sold on it to be honest Okay, and this is book stuff. 
which I think we've read all of these. There we go. Let's just let's just go back down. Let's see about battle chamber. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so now we have to worry about Now we have to worry about enemies kind of down below. There we go. There we go. I'm gaining e uh, I'm gaining HP here. Just remember I have fire. can also do that. Oh. Remember kids, say no to giant men with swords. Alright, we got it. That was fun. Ooh, golden chest? With tons of whatever that is. I'm not entirely sure. Alright. Alright. I'm definitely going to have to play this from the beginning at some point. We're just going to keep with this, and I love the fact that I haven't had to start over with every update. Axis Mundi. So it looks like there are, what is that, six stars? Six bosses, six stars? Make the most amount of sense. I think this is where I got the, the phantom uh, platform ability. We're just going to go here and see what happens. Hooters be warned. As decreed by es Estuary Irad, all gold and jewelry found in Axis Mundi is property of the treasury. All looting is strictly prohibited. You will gain an additional 20% gold bonus while in Axis Mundi. These temporary resonant platforms we made are a fool's errand. There are not enough volunteers with Echo's heirloom to make the crossing, and every person we lose is a sacrifice we can't afford. The estuaries are right. There is no saving the villagers. Big Rude. Okay. Ow? What? Oh. It's that weird eyeball. I remember. We were kind of trained about them. Okay. avoid there we go is everything so small I have no idea okay grab this grab a bit of money I'm trying to hit the cannon but it didn't work Oh, I forgot they came back down. Uh, less. Still did reasonably well. Duelist rank one, killed a bunch of stuff, got a decent amount of money. Ooh. Dragon Lancer, health and good mana, armored, charge lance, bastion, and Tesla spike. Combat roll, immune to all damage while rolling, recharges over time. Oh, didn't realize that. Does a little bit of damage. Honestly, let's, let's go with the Dragoon Lancer. Okay, and what do we want to grab? Reduces the Architect's Finder's fee. Increases your starting resolve amount, which means uh, I can pick up more of those blessings. Restore health and mana when entering a boss chamber. Increases gold gain for certain traits. Randomly find ore and breakables. Ooh, it's expensive though. Living safe capacity, gold conversion. Unlocks Gunslingers. Gunslinger class unlocked. Bing, bang, boom. Gunslingers are about popping and stopping. 
You may be wielding the most versatile weapon in the world, but lack of strong knockback means you need to stay on your toes for enemy counterattacks. Find good angles, stay moving, always keep an eye on your ammo. Sure. Okay. And I do have a limited amount. But I get it back. Okay, cool. I understand. What about these? Looks like X number of seconds before I get it back, but otherwise it's fine. Neat. Alright, last order of business. I have a little bit of money. Let's talk to this guy. Because we have ore now. But I think we need to find the blueprints to actually get any of these. Ah, but yeah, so equipment requires money and ore, but I only have so much. So we're just gonna not. I'm not gonna think of those, at least for the moment. Maybe there's more that I can do with it, but honestly, I'm just here to see and experience and have fun. I forget what the, that thing is up there. It looks like it can still do the down attack perfectly fine. There we go. So do we do we go through here? Yeah. Now you might notice I have contact damage for enemies off. Uh, I just hate contact damage. It's... I realize it's like integral to the game and I know a number of people are like no this isn't how it's meant to be played but like boy it just makes my life so much easier oh I'm out of juice okay, let's just fire that off whoops wow okay that's pretty good I think I'm gonna have a, just a little bit of problems with this gun because I can... Ooh, okay. There we go. I can aim with the right stick. Okay, that's just the reload button. Because what I want to be able to do is aim with the right stick. Nope. I want to aim with the right stick as I do. Okay, there we go. Uh, aim with the right stick and shoot with a different button, but I have to use the thumb. Um, I have to use my thumb to jump and attack. And I cannot do uh, aiming and then face buttons. I know some people that are like big, big fans of shooters can pull this sort of thing off. Like, I'm sure Halo players have no problems dealing with this sort of thing. But me? Uh, I don't know. There we go. I do like the grenade, though. Yeah, I, I tried doing the aiming while running and gunning in Metroid Dread, and it worked adequately. It wasn't amazing, but it worked adequately well enough. There we go. Gotta say, though, gun Gunslinger makes short work. I guess most of the characters do. I, I, I feel like I've picked up a number of decent items along the way. There we go. That's fine. We'll be fine. I'll make it work. Right. And I do still have the down attack. And also my, uh, my spell. Let's see. I've already read that. I don't need to do it. Oh, right. I can just stand on these. I don't have to... I don't have to break them in the slightest. It is kind of satisfying. Just, ow. 
just going full yippee kaye on folks out grand scheme of things worth it not worth it who knows who cares nope I am going to die down here because I missed my gosh darn jump. No, it's fine. I'll get my HP back. Enjoy that, you miscreant. Oop. There we go. <laughs> Just unload on a sucker. Who cares about knockback? I got Raditz tat tat. Ooh, steel toe boots or boxing bell. Your weapon applies combo. Neat. I think combo is specifically. Central. Ow. Ow. Central to the boxing character. Gotta admit, I'm gonna be thrown off by the utter lack of knockback here. Once again, I'm pretty sure this is the new area. I could do stuff here, but it's liable to get me killed. So I might want to just snag the money and run. Because, yeah, we do have Aether's Wings. I don't remember where I picked them up. It was the last video, but that was a while ago. Okay, get some cookies for our troubles. That's the wrong button. Like I said, I tried doing this in Metroid. And I think I actually still have the mu muscle memory for that. So the, the problem there... I'm just gonna... There we go. The problem is that there is I keep... um. I pre keep pressing left trigger to go into aim mode, and then that keeps not actually being uh, the thing that locks you in place so you can aim. And it is throwing me off something fierce. It's fine. I'll just not play this character. <laughs> Oops. I like the combo meter. That feels like it has a lot of interest and potential. There we go. Blast the door in. Oops. Let's not do that. Break these first. That is really satisfying watching all the vines just recede. Ooh. 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 Knockout punch. Gain blessing of talent. Can be aimed. Consumes all combo stacks. Damage increase for every consumed stack. Sure. Oh. So instead of... Oh. Hell yeah. Okay, does look like I need some more combo stacks to make it work though. All right. No, I think you could only kill those specifically in uh, the mod of Rogue Legacy 1. It's been a little bit and I've forgotten. But I, I remember being able to destroy those. Okay, it's still on cooldown, but it seems like it's... The cooldown is probably based on hits. It is. Neat. And a little weird. Destroying with that door. Hello. Okay, take that out. Ripes? And I have no mana, but that's fine. Got him. 
Knockout Punch is fun. I gotta, I gotta play the boxer again. It feels like he'd, he'd actually be super primo as far as, like, once I get used to him. There we go. Oh, here's the boss chamber, but he's already dead. I almost kind of wish you could just reface the bosses, too. Like, keep them as hard as they were, just... You know. And, like, maybe not as much money. I just... I don't know. I One of my favorite parts about roguelikes is refighting the bosses purely from a... Like, yeah, I don't know. The bosses are neat and designed well. Heading down into the deep below. Be careful. Overconfidence can be lethal. Even estuaries won't venture any further without a sun lantern. Not many of those lanterns are left. And the ones remaining lost their ember long ago. If you restore the sun, I can reignite the ember. We'll talk more then. Welcome to Pishon Dry Lake. For your safety, all parties must be accompanied by a guide with a sun lantern. An additional letter has been nailed to the front of the sign. No trespassing. By order of Estuary Irad, Pishon Dry Lake has been sealed off indefinitely. Grab that. Okay, so where can we go? Not a whole lot of great places. I guess let's just go back here real quick. Because, yeah, we ain't touching that zone anytime soon. Up we go. I feel a little bad. Every time I play this game, I end up just kind of exclusively exploring uh, the castle. It's a safe place, and the moment I step outside, I die. <laughs> Uh, it's Rogue Legacy for you, though. Nope. Did it again. I did it again. Let's see if any of these have anything useful. They do, in fact. Let's get rid of the thorns first, though. Wow, actually, like, kind of loaded? There we go. Oh, come on. Did I... It's the last thorn that I missed. But miss it, I did. It's fine. Okay, let's go back up and around and actually probably go to the winter area. Uh, let's see. It's going to be up. I'd like to explore more of the castle just because it is safe and maybe I can pick pick up some more interesting relics. But at the same time, that's boring. Let's go back out here. Grab these. Small amounts of free money. Okay. Oh, right. I didn't even make it to the winter zone. Got blasted before. <gasps> it's so happy. It's so happy, but it, it cannot remain. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, well, that didn't work. There we go. It's dead. We get some armor for our troubles. Whoop. Okay, stay away from the archer. I think I punched the air out of the sky. Which is not something I meant to do, but it's fine. I'm just gonna leave them with that. I might not fight the blobfishes. Okay. What else have we got? On the rooftop. Just you. 
I deserve that. And there's something up there, but I'm not sure if I can get to it. Okay, I see you, hammer, hammer boy. Okay, cool. That was not worth it. Boy, getting over here is a thing. Got it. Close enough. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything... There is dangerous stuff up there, isn't there? Okay, but I can hit it. And that's what counts. There's another treasure chest, but I'm not feeling particularly safe about getting there. What is this? It's a bed. Can I can I take a nap? No. It's worse than I imagined. The shops, the houses, the fallout of war is all that dwells in them now. We don't have enough hands to cart supplies. Most of the soldiers are so exhausted from dredging the lake, they can barely stand. I know I'm pushing them past their limits, but there's no time for rest. If the lake becomes poisoned, well, that'd be the final nail in our coffin. I yeah, look look forward to actually being able to play the uh, the full version of this store story and lore included. Because it seems like they put a lot of. like, thought and effort into it. Okay, so we've got the red eye. And a silver chest. Oh. Arguably not worth it, but I did it anyway. Whoop. Okay. You know what a guy could go for? Some cookies. I should make brownies today. Okay, there's nothing else there. There we go. Oh, there is something down there. Cripes, if not... I'm not getting to it, though. That is 100%. 110% not worth it. Oh, good. Okay. Grab that. Anything else up there? No. The region that does not want to be traversed. Huh. Nothing to say. Maybe cookies? Pizza Mundi. Hello? Hey, there's... Oh, P wait. Is Pizza Girl a reference to another game? Maybe? Hey there, stranger. Didn't think I'd meet anyone out this far, but I'm sure glad you showed up. Name's Maria, by the way. I was the Sun Tower when a shift happened. Some monsters teleported right, be right beside me. So I ran back here to my pizza shop and decided to lay low until they left. Or until someone got rid of them. Thanks for that, by the way. Anyway, I can tell from your get-up that you're not from around here. Just a wild guess, but you're from above, right? Trying to open that giant gold door? Don't worry, I won't pry. I'm just saying maybe I can help. If you ever get the chance, come meet me by one of the teleporters. Maybe we can work together. Thanks again for the save, but I'd better get going. I'd like to study the teleporters while I have the chance. Pizza party. Delivering pizza is tough. Delivering pizza in an ever-changing world is tougher. Pizza Girl will now help you on your journey. Spoilers, it has nothing to do with pizza. And I was hoping she would sell pizza. I could go for some pizza. Okay. Okay. 
There we go. So the red eyes get mad when I attack. Luckily, I do have a ranged attack. Hmm. Never mind. Flubbed that one. And I have a desperate urge for some cookies. Oh. I don't think you're supposed to do this. In retrospect, the camera really does not like it when I aim with the right stick. And use that to aim my shots. But that's okay. I thought this was going to be an ice zone. As that's what it was pre- Nope. That's what it was previously, but it looks like they have, um... They've retooled it as kind of this lake district. Honestly, it's fine. Bam! That's one way to do it. That didn't work. That super didn't work. There we go. Ooh. I guess that would split, wouldn't it? There we go. I am living on a prayer. And you know what? I'm sure as heck gonna make it work. That's kind of neat. It's not an auto aim, but I lightly pull down on the stick when I'm moving in a lateral direction. Okay, there is big bad boner pants up there. McRib, of course. Okay, as long as he doesn't bounce, we're good. He dead. Still no HP though. But a lot of other stuff. Anything else interesting up here? Nope. Yeah, unless that's something... Oh boy. I can kill him. The big issue is, I don't think I can get up. Oh, because I need double jump to do it. Oh, am I not dead yet? I have no idea. Risk mitigation and small amounts of H uh, HP vampirism on kill. That's really all it is, to be honest. Yep. Too high? There we go. All right, what do we got in here? I was about to destroy them and I realized, wait a second, no, I can't do that. Oh, another battle chamber. How much do I hate myself? It's time to die, suckers. And I think I mostly mean myself on that. Blobfish is too exuberant for its own good. Nope! I was really hoping I could scoop for it. It's fine. Got slain by a lamps. Still! Damn good set of runs. Oh, and Va Valkyrie is different from the Dragon Lancer.
Last eight bullets, always skill crit. Oh, that's how it works. That said, ooh, pollination, mind over matter. Only heart. Oh, I like this character. All right. Well, I would love to do another run, and maybe I will actually. I mean, I just absolutely adore playing this game. Relics cost less resolve, but it doesn't, it's not that much. Gain bonus armor. It'll be level 60 before I can get that one. Increases int, increases health gain from health drops. Ooh, that's good. But I get, gotta get the manner up. Focus, raising damage on spell crits. Wanna unlock things. So I could get the drill store. Let's grab this. Guild of Dark Arts unlocks assassins. Assassins come from a highly secretive organization that does mysterious work in the shadows. It's mysterious because it's too dark and they can't see what they're doing. All right, let's pick that up. Three hit wonder, two blades, three strikes. Assassins put the assassin sass. Trained in the art of the three hit combo and only the three hit combo. Assassins are all about getting in and getting out after hitting the target three times. Neat. Uh, let's see. Raise strength by one? Sure. Let's just keep grabbing whatever. Reduce damage while dashing. Our max weight capacity. I'm just trying to get one in everything. That's my goal here. Because eventually I'd like to fill this out, but that'll be later. Probably when the game comes out. Oh, neat. Oh, and I have the perks too. Neat. All right, well, one way or another, this is a good stopping point, at least for now. Uh, to continue on might mean this episode goes, like, well past an hour, because I'm getting better every time I play. Uh, especially as I learn enemy patterns and so on and so forth. So, Rogue Legacy 2 is shaping up to be probably one of the best games I have ever played. Uh, I'm not even being hyperbolic about it. This is really good. I loved Rogue, Le Rogue Legacy 1 when I played it a long time ago. I really loved playing it when it was modded recently. And Rogue Legacy 2 puts... Uh, the first game to shame by far. Uh, but before I go, I'm going to do a quick shout out to their other game, which is Full Metal Furies. If you guys haven't seen that game, uh, please check that out as well. It is nothing like the Rogue Legacy games, but everything like them in the same vein. It's more of a Castle Crashers e brawler. Uh, not quite. Castle Crashers was side scrolling. This is more maybe Children of Morta, I guess. But it is incredibly good, and not enough people played it. And so I love repping Rogue Legacy 2, but I will also say, please check that game out as well. It is incredibly cheap. It's got a great soundtrack and, uh, I mean, helps support the developers as well, especially while we wait for Rogue, Leg Rogue Legacy 2 to get finished. So until then, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.